what you see there on the screen is the game Borodam running off main 2010 with Mbatacera. As you can also see, it's not doing a pretty good job at all. The graphics look pretty horrible, it's stuttering, it's really slow. Even though this game is running off an AMD Ryzen 4700U computer, again, it's not doing a pretty good job. Within a few minutes, you're going to see the same exact game running off Flycast emulator with Mbatacera. For those of you who don't know, Flycast is an emulator that runs at Thomas Wave and Naomi ROMs, and it does an amazing job at playing these games. Far greater than main 2010. Here's another example of the game Ikaruga playing off main 2010. As you can also see, it's not doing a good job at all. Fortunately, however, Flycast does an amazing job at playing this game. So therefore, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Flycast so you can get your Thomas Wave and Naomi games running in a fantastic fashion. Let's do it. Greetings everyone and welcome to Batocera Nation. So glad that you can join us today. So let's get started. So once again, we're back at Internet Archive. This is the one site I've mentioned before. You can find almost anything you need for Batocera. So make sure that you have already downloaded BIOS version 30 for Batocera. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly encourage you to watch the video installing Batocera version 30. Okay. So I entered Naomi or Thomas Wave and uh, Internet Archive and a bunch of files and stuff pulled up. And ultimately, after looking at everything, I went with this one Bob, Naomi, or Thomas Wave. Okay, and there it is. All right, so let's go ahead. You notice here it's got a zip file, which you can download directly, although it might take a little while. And of course, you also have the torrent file. The torrent file is much faster. Let's go show all. And let's go to view contents. You can see here, that these are all the Atomic Wave games right here. It's about, I think, 27 or so. And the ones at the bottom here are all of the Naomi games, okay? It looks pretty complete. And even has some snap images as well which will make things easier okay all right so go ahead and uh, uh, and download that once you've downloaded everything uh, then make sure you unzip everything when you unzip everything on Thomas Wave it's about two gigabytes and the only ROMs are about uh, eight gigabytes okay and that's the way it's supposed to look like. It's all they all zipped. That's fine. And Naomi, you've got some folders. Some of those folders are inside the folder they don't have zip files. All right, but and then the ones here at the bottom are all zipped. Okay. All right. All right. So once you have them on zip, go ahead and put them in a portable hard drive. Uh, and then we'll be able to hook that up into Batocera and copy it from there. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back in Batocera. I assume you have a keyboard attached to your Batocera system, so let's go ahead and press F1. And look for your portable hard drive. And here's the folder. Let's go ahead and copy this one first, Thomas Wave. Go into the ROMs, go ahead and paste it. And yes, apply this option to all existing files overwrite everything okay there's about two gigabytes I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all this okay so it's done let's go ahead and do the, with the Naomi files and let's go ahead and copy and paste everything overwrite everything and this is about eight gigabytes, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this as well. 
Okay, so we are done. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead into game settings and update everything. Okay, now we should have two folders, two new folders. There's the Thomas Wave. It's got 27 games, and we should also have Naomi. And that has 84 games. All right, let's start with. Where it go? Let's start with uh, Thomas Wave. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, select. Okay, load it up. Everything right now is, of course, in its default settings. So I want you to just pay close attention to the graphics. We're going to spruce it up. Look at the words insert coins. Look at the edges of the people's clothes. Some jagged. Look at those bottom metal frames. It's got jagged edges. Look at that wall over there, some jagged edges there. Look at those the bad guys. Look at it. Okay, we're, we're going to compare that later on. Okay, look at those bricks right here. Look at these bricks. Look at all those jagged edges on those bridge on those bricks. Okay, uh, on the back there, that uh, oval frame there, on the house or the building where it is, you can see some jagged edges there as well. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this. So you can see, a lot of these games are going to load up. Well, let's try another one here. Dolphin Blue. See these games? Looks good. All right, enough of that. All these games are, are going to work. I've tried already some of them already. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and adjust things. So, go ahead and press back or select, and let's go to advanced system options. Uh, emulator, leave it there. Video mode, you can pick 1080p. Smooth gaze, it's like yes. Shader set, go ahead and pick enhance. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it on. Decorations, you can leave that the way it is. Graphics back end, uh, Vulcan. Let's go ahead and pick a, a high resolution. Let's go ahead and pick that on. Let's put this to 16x. Upscaling, put it 6x. Render the texture upscaling. Go ahead and put it 8x. Mm, let's go ahead and put on. All right. All right, let's go back to demolish for the fist. Look at insole coins, they look better already. 
There's less jagged edges on all that helicopter. Look at his clothes, looks so much better. Her clothes also. Look at that. Metal frames look much better. So you can definitely spruce it up. Look at that. Look at that wall back over there. It looks so much better as well. Nice and sharp and clear. Let's go ahead and start this. Look. Look how much better everything looks. The fighters, the bad guys. Look at that building on that that oval frame. Look at that. Look how much better it looks. Look look at the bricks. Bricks look so much better. So you can definitely spruce it all up uh, in Batista. Okay. All right, let's get out of this. Let's try another game. Let's go ahead and try that one. The right trigger is the gas pedal. The left trigger is the brake. Graphics look so much better compared to the original. It's playing really well. Enough of that. It's playing smooth as butter. All right. Again, all these games uh, are going to work quite well. Let's go ahead and go to Naomi Games. All right. Okay. Let's try. Put it down. Again, within MAME 2010 ROM set files, it 
was really slow on the same exact system, the Ryzen 4700U. Now we're going to play it in Naomi. It automatically sounds better. There's no stuttering. Okay. Pay attention also to the graphics. We can also spruce it up as well. Look how smooth that plays. Unlike Ming 2010. Right, let's get out of this. Now we're going to spruce it up. Go ahead, press back or select. Let's go to events, system options. And uh, let's do the same thing. Turn that on. Go to enhance. You can also try the widescreen. I'm going to show you the widescreen as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and back out. Let's go back in there. And it's still playing real smooth. Even with the hands graphics, it looks so much better. Look at that. Looks so good. All right, let's get out of this. Let's look at. Um, let's look at um, this one. Look how smooth that is. Try to know one more game here. Let's uh, see what can we pick. Let's try this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Graphics look amazing. Let's go ahead and, and try with uh, wide screen hack, okay? Oh yeah, these light ga gone games, uh, unless you have the light gone, they're not gonna work. They're not set up just with a game pad. Uh, there's some of them that have a trackball. If, let's see, which one I saw one with a trackball here. Light guns, trackball, here's a trackball. This will work with your mouse, okay? Uh, but all these light gun games, uh, they're not going to work by default. You have to have a light gun for it to work. Okay, set that all. Set, set that all up. All right, let's try this one. Let's go to. Got pick sixteen by nine for it to work. All right, let's go into. Oh yeah, decorations. Choose none. And now we can go into on. All right. Oh, looks so great. All right, that's enough of that. You can see that. You don't have to use the bezels. You can play with widescreen if you want to. It's up to you. It looks great either way. Okay. All right, let's try one more game. Zero Gun or Two, widescreen hack. Looks gorgeous. It plays really well. All right, enough of that. Okay, so that's about a wrap up. As you can see, trying to play these games with a Naomi and a Thomas Wave is so much better. Such a huge improvement than trying to play these games within MAME 2010. So I'll go ahead and hook yourself up with some of Thomas Wave and Naomi games. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That will help me with YouTube algorithms and I would really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and please subscribe. The next video I have is how to set up Semi to get the best gameplay within Bata Set. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. So thank you for watching 
And I'll see you next time on Batasana Nation. Bye.